Lock on stabilization. In order to make this effect, what you're going to do is grab your clip and place it in the timeline. This clip is a total of five seconds long. So in order to make this video short, we are going to change this to three seconds. This is a clip of someone running and it's just nice and simple to track as well. What we are going to do is click on our fusion page. Now make sure that you are in frame zero right here is going to tell you if you are not in frame zero, it's going to be like some other numbers. So just go back to frame zero while you're clicking on median one, you want to click control space and search up tracker. Make sure to use this tracker that ends with TRA and click add. Once you have done this, this green rectangle is going to appear and you are going to move it by clicking it in the top left. Right here, we are going to select our object, which is going to be this face or this person, my bad. And we're gonna click it like this. Uh, and then you could just mess around. If you want to make your shape bigger, you could just click on this, make it bigger or smaller, depending on what you are looking for. Now click on adaptive mode, click on best match. And after this, you want to click on track forward from current timeline. Once you have done this, it's going to go ahead and track. And depending on how fast your computer is, this might take a couple of seconds or this might take an eternity. So now that you have finished tracking, it's going to track basically what you wanted it to track, right? You want to click on operations and click match move right here on merge. We want to click background only, meaning that it's going to basically have that effect of the lockdown stabilization. And if we click play, let's see. Like, like there's some empty space over here, but it's fine because in order to fix this, what we are going to do is click on control space and click transform. Make sure to click this one that ends with XF and not this other one down here. We click on add and right here we could size the zoom and everything like this. So I like to use the 1.6 for the zoom because you guys are going to go ahead and do that zoom or else it's not gonna appear that lockdown stabilization effect and now i'm gonna move a little bit towards the right and not too much and we go to our timeline and click play look at this it looks amazing 